Okay, Moss, let's see what you've got going on here. First impressions are really good. I really like this um, this designer you've got here. It just like it looks really cool. Um, but I did notice that this to me looks like a logo, and up here you've just got text. So I would make this blue or black, whatever it is that is your your brand color, and chuck that up in the the top left. Having a, a an image as a logo or, you know, even just a text-based logo that's not the plain text from the theme just makes it look um, just that little bit more professional. Okay, um, so I just want to start with that. I think it looks really great, but uh, let's look at the navigation. So we've only got two navigation items. Um, we want to split this up into collection so we don't want it to say catalog we want it to be action words shop now uh, buy our hoodies see our latest range something like that and then we want to break it down into the collections so with you you could do that in so many different ways with clothing you can do uh, size color fit gender um, age design anything like there's a million different ways that you could slice your collections for uh for clothing so just think about what's going to make sense for for your customer and their avatar how are they going to be shopping um so we can remove the home you don't actually need that if you're if you're trying to keep the space small on your menu get rid of home because everyone knows now you just click on the logo and it's going to take you back home Anyway, so make our shop and our collection really easy to use. Then we're going to add about us. Make sure that your about us page tells us who you are, but also how you're going to help me. What problem are you solving for me, your customer avatar? Make that really clear. Uh, I said it in a couple of other videos as well. The about us page is the most uh, visited page on most websites so it is really important to have that there and easily accessible the next one is contact the contact page can be really simple it just needs to be the contact form uh, when you create the page in Shopify in the bottom left hand corner there's a little drop down um, and that's for your product template and there's one in there called contact that's going to throw the contact form onto that page above the contact form the other thing we need to have is your response time. So make it really clear when people can expect a response. Um, we've all sent, you know, an email or something through and, and waited and waited. Um, but if they know it's going to take you up to 24 hours because maybe you've got school, you've got another job, you've got other things going on, um, it may take you 24 hours to get back to them. Just make sure that's clear. Uh, one thing I wasn't entirely sure about is if you are uh, doing print on demand or not. If you are, a great thing to do because you're potentially going to be selling internationally is adding a currency converter and a language translator. So, so no matter where your customer is, they can see it in their own currency, their own language. It's going to make it easier for them to say yes and add to the cart and continue with their purchase. So there's some free apps available that can do that. And then that's just going to place them up here um, with all of our other icons or in our menu, or sometimes they pop up out of the side, depending on, on the app you pick. So now if we jump down into our footer, we seem to be missing our policy. So we have to have a refund and return policy, a privacy policy, terms and conditions, and another one we want to add is shipping. And that needs to detail um, how long it's going to take to get to me and how much it's going to cost. It needs to be really easy to understand. You've got your newsletter sign up, which is awesome. Collect those emails, but uh, we need to entice people to actually give us their email address. So think about what you could offer people that's going to add value. Um, that could be through a guide how to style your new hoodie, how to um, how to 
make a cool video. I watch your video and I think it's really cool. So well done. Um, and you know, there's a, there's a number of different things that you could, you could offer people. Um, I don't know if you're doing the designs yourself, but maybe it could be something design related as well. Think about what your customer avatar would value and then add that in as a enticement for them to give, give you their email address. Okay. So I said I really like this email and I do really like the, uh, sorry, this email, uh, this image, and I do really like this image. Um, I would maybe just make it a little bit clearer that it's hoodies that you're selling. Uh, and you could even potentially use a video. Um, as I just said before, I watched your video and it looked really cool. If you made that video yourself, could you make it maybe a shortened version, which really like zooms in and shows the design on the hoodie and the quality of the hoodie and put that as your as your hero image? I think that would be um, be really good. Give people an instant idea of what it sells, what it looks like, how it feels. Um, obviously, they can't touch it, but just by seeing it in video, you can kind of get a bit more of a feel for a product. Um, and then add a really clear call to action. So shop our latest collection um, or something like that overlaid on the, on the video as well. Okay. So here we have a slider. And again, you've got some really nice imagery. I think it, it looks really cool. Um, one thing I did notice before was here we have this really cute baby onesie. When I click on it, it takes me to a collection of all hoodies. We want to make sure that our call to actions and our links are taking us exactly to the product that you're showing me because I was like, I really want to buy, buy this onesie. Now you're showing me hoodies. And it's all just a bit too hard for me to try and find where the onesies are and buy them. So I kind of forgot about it. I've, I've, I've moved on now and you've, you've lost my sale. So change the button to say shop onesies, shop hoodies, and take people to exactly the product that you're showing them. And then if they do want to um, explore and look at other things, we can do that by showing them you may also be interested in through our collections, through our filters, through some other techniques, rather than showing them everything all at once when they're trying to find one specific product. Okay. Here, yeah, I really like uh, that the featured collection is really easy to see. You've got nice, clear red sale. Um, so that stands out to me. I would change this text to something along the lines of bestsellers, um, shop the winter collection something like that uh this is video really cool gives people like that kind of that sense of it's a lifestyle brand it's not just a hoodie i really like that uh here we've got another featured collection i would make sure that it's clear how this collection is different from this one so i don't feel like i'm seeing the same thing twice I know that they are different designs, but it would make it clearer to me if you had different headings instead of featured collection, featured collection. So maybe the first one is these are a best-selling hoodies, and then this one is a you know a specific collection. Um, I thought this was really nice as well. What I would do here, just from a design perspective, because I started out as a designer, is uh, make sure that the text is all the same length, um, just so it's not too jagged and we don't have this random white space here. Uh, here we have another featured collection. This one looks like it's the Universe Collection, so change the featured collection text to say, shop the universe collection again some beautiful images but um put some buttons on here and tell me where and how i can buy these because i'm seeing these beautiful images i'm looking at these people 
who look really cool in these hoodies and I want to buy one and now you're making it hard for me to find it. Okay, so let's go and have a look at a product next. Okay. So we've got lots of images. I can zoom in on them and I can look at the detail. Great. But what kind of fabric is it? You're not telling me much about the, the hoodie itself. I want to know how does it feel? How does it fit? So add a size chart. That can be either an image that you add onto every product if every product fits differently, or you can have a single size chart page that you can link to from your description. Um, or you can add a little table, which is uh, probably my preference into uh, this description text. Uh, the other thing that I'm looking for is some social proof. That can be either pictures of people wearing this hoodie. So if you've got a video or a picture of someone wearing it, add that into the product images so that I can see people wearing it. Uh, and also adding a review app onto the product page. There's loads of them to choose from on the app store based on what you what you want to do and what your requirements are. One where people, uh, customers can upload pictures of themselves wearing the items would be absolutely ideal. Most of those ones do usually come with a monthly fee. Um, so another option would be to go for a free one. I really like Yotpo and you can set up uh, automatic email to go out after 14 days or whatever you think is an appropriate time to ask people for their review based on when they, they're going to get their product with your shipping times. Um, and you could, you know, incentivize them to maybe tag you on Instagram. So leave a review and they fill out the Yotpo review form that shows up on your product page, but then also tell them, you know, tag us in your, in your, um, in your pictures wearing our items and we'll, we'll share you on our Instagram page. Depending on who your customer avatar is, who your audience and your customer uh, are, that, that may or, or may not work, but it feels like you've got quite a cool lifestyle brand. So um, that could be a really good option for you. If you don't want to ask for that in the Yotpo uh, review email, you can set up another automated email to go out and ask for that. It also just reminds people that you're there. It entices them to come back to the shop. Um, so that's, that's the social proof. Uh, going back to the description, um, we want to be facing people's objections head on. So think about your, your customer avatar. What is going to stop them from buying? I've already talked about the size chart and the material not being super clear to me. The other one is shipping. If you are doing print on demand, it's potentially going to take a little while to get to your customer. So make sure that your shipping policy is really, really clear and it includes uh, the price and how long it's going to take. Um, you can have that linked under here if it's calculated at checkout, um, but also just have a table in your product description potentially under where you have your little size chart. Um, another thing that you can do to build trust on your product page is, or any page really on your website, um, is have a little chat bot or a chat bubble. Um, so um, you would have seen them a million times. They just show up in the corner of the website and sometimes they, depending on the app, they'll pop up and say, hey, can I help you with something if someone's been idle for a while? Um, but it just lets people know that there's someone there ready to help them. Um, a good app for that is Tidio Chat. You can set up available times and it comes through to your Facebook business page 
um, and you can get the notifications on your phone so you're, you don't need to be sitting at your computer waiting for people to message you. You've got all of the buy now, the payment options, which is awesome. I would just add, yeah, there we go, PayPal, Sh Shop Pay and Google Pay. I would just add, um, I would add some trust badges in there so that, you know, people feel comfortable checking out on your site. Uh, and another thing that I was thinking about um, with your products, I don't know if you're planning to do this or not or if it would be appropriate, but you could do exclusive designs. So we're only printing 50 of these. And that's going to create a sense of urgency. So people want to buy it before it runs out. And the other thing that it's, it's doing is it's adding some exclusivity to the product. So they're not going to feel like everyone else in their, in their neighborhood is going to be wearing the same hoodie because there's only 50 of them being printed. With that, you can add a app to monitor your stock levels and display how many are left. So um, if, if, if you're only going to sell 50 and you've got 20 left, it's going to say, hurry now, there's only, only 20 left. Um, to increase our order value on our products, we can look at adding some bundles. So as I saw before, you have got the baby onesie, you could have the baby onesie and the hoodie with the same design um, for male and female and have a family pack. Um, so, you know, buy mum, dad and, and baby, the, the same design um, is quite a popular thing recently. Or you've got hoodies, you could get a matching hoodie and um, do an upsell. So, by the by the hoodie and you can add on the beanie for you know on only ten dollars instead of twenty dollars or whatever the pricing might be but just to get people to up the amount they're spending and increase your average order value okay so overall I think you've got a really cool product a really cool site but one thing that's kind of missing for me is the story element. And you can fix that by adding your about page, um, having a full about page on the about page that talks about uh, the problems that you're fixing for your customer avatar. And then you can have little snippets of that throughout uh, your home page as well so that I can really get a sense of of what this product is um, like are you designing these yourself are they exclusive designs or can I can I find them somewhere else all that kind of information is really going to help people make that that purchase decision and uh, a great story can really increase your sales um, and make it easy for people to get in contact with you make it easy for them to buy by grouping things into collections, make it easy for them to spend lots of money by putting things in bundles. I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, let me know.